Hello viewers, welcome to Joyce Kitchen. I hope you are all doing very, 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 very well. Today I'm going to show you a very, very simple snacks recipe or you can use it as a dinner or lunch, whatever you want. Uh, this is, I call it mixed veg rice flakes or fried veg like uh, rice flakes. Rice flakes is kind of like the, 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 the another substitute of rice and this is quite lighter. And in Bengali, we call it chira or in India, they call it poa. So it's very easily you can find in any super shop nowadays and this is one of the best best flavorful um, uh, dish you can make with rice flakes and uh, it's very healthy at the same time and so light and i'm gonna show you step by step how i'm gonna make my uh, fried veg uh, rice flakes just stay with me and enjoy the recipe so this is the packet of the rice flakes which i bought from an asian grocery shop but you can find in any kind of grocery shop like turkish uh, or uh, any kind of english grocery it's very available anyway and uh, i'm gonna use this is a 250 gram of packet but i need uh, two cups but if you want to make more you can take more and i'm just showing you the packet like how it comes and how it looks it's just kind of like a flat rice kind of thing and it's, this is rice anyway it's just flattened and this quite lighter so what I done, I washed it at least three, four times. You have to wash it because that one comes like a little bit like a dusty. And then I put a little bit of water, like around uh, two cup of water in my two cup of rice flakes. And I'm going to leave it for five minutes, not more than five minutes, because otherwise it's going to be too mushy and too soft and uh, you can't cook it. So mm, like around four to five minutes and it's going to be quite soft, like rice kind of consistency. So we, we wait for it. So in a frying pan, I already added two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Uh, I don't need too much oil because I, as I said, it's going to be quite healthy. It's kind of like a fried rice, but it's not rice. That's it. So my oil is hot now and now I'm going to add a one a medium sized sliced onion, one green chili chopped, two cloves of garlic chopped and around one tablespoon of coriander leaf stem. Uh, this coriander uh, stem is quite important because that's going to give a really really good herby kind of flavor uh, in my final dish. So now I'm going to fry these four uh, ingredients at least two to three minutes till they are quite soft and bit translucent and I left my... Uh, you can see my onions are quite chunky slices uh, you should keep like that because this onion final in my final dish this onion gonna be like really sweet and uh, flavorful and so good so don't uh, chop your onion too uh, fine So after around two minutes you can see my onions are a little bit translucent now and oh the smell is already good because of this coriander root and the green chili and the garlic I already added a little bit of salt as well just to cook my onion a little bit quicker so and now I'm adding half teaspoon of black pepper powder and now I'm gonna fry my onion a little bit more after adding the black pepper powder like another one minute maybe so after one minute now my onion is more translucent and uh, now I'm gonna add some frozen vegetable i'm using frozen vegetable but if you prefer a fresh vegetable go for it cut your own vegetable and do it but there is no problem if i use the fresh one uh, frozen one because that's quite easy uh, and it tastes almost similar so here is i'm adding like uh, french bean peas and carrots you can add cabbage you can add uh, beetroot you can add any kind of vegetable you can add there is no problem it's just like fried rice Oh, the smell is coming from it is so good and this is one of the dish you can eat if you are on diet and you want to eat something light this is one of the best dish because that one contain like vegetable uh, I'm gonna add some prawns it's so good it's so yummy so I was been frying my vegetable for two minutes I don't want to cook too much my vegetables because it's already frozen and I had some leftover grilled uh, prawns and I'm adding here like around two prawns and I chopped it prawn is not important this is just I have available that's why I'm adding but if you want you can add even chicken pieces as well uh, or uh, chicken or beef or prawns or anything any kind of protein you can add and I'm gonna fry it for another one minute so my vegetables are nearly done now and now what I'm doing I'm just adding two eggs here just like when we make our fried rice exactly following the same process I just uh, uh, press my vegetable in the corner and now in the same pan I'm gonna uh, scramble two eggs 
you can do it in a separate pan but uh, i want to uh, do it in the same pan in that case my egg gonna uh, absorb all the flavor from the vegetable and garlic and everything as i said this dish is so good it's, it's very good snack at the same time you can make it put it in the fridge and you can take as a lunch in your job or whatever it's so good so my eggs are scrambled you can see and now i'm gonna mix them all together my vegetables and scrambled eggs as i said you can add chicken you can add uh, beef pieces you can add any kind of protein you like even you can add some fish sal slices as well like any kind of white fish slices it's so yummy and rice flakes uh, absorb the flavor very quickly more actually uh, quicker than rice so it tastes more good and now I'm adding around a half teaspoon of tasty salt. This is the tasty salt we use when we cook Chinese food. This is very optional uh, 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 part, but I prefer a little bit of uh, tasting salt in my uh, final dish. But if you want to skip it, uh, you can skip this part. So now I'm going to cook my vegetable for another one minute after adding the tasting salt. So you can see my vegetable and my eggs are done now. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add around one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Uh, this light soy sauce is going to give really good kind of saltiness. So, um, and I'm adding exactly at the end. Before I add my rice flakes, I'm adding this soy sauce. So just one tablespoon of light soy sauce. If you are making more, just add more soy sauce. But for this amount of uh, rice flakes, I need just one tablespoon is fine. Oh, the smell is coming it tastes so good and look at the onion how caramelized they are they are sweet and good full of flavors so now I added all my pre uh, soaked uh, rice flakes you can see still uh, they are in shape they didn't break it uh, I didn't break them but at the same time they are very fluffy did you see so just more not more than four or five minutes other other otherwise it's gonna be like too mushy and just now I'm gonna mix all them together in that case like two minutes I'm gonna fry them uh, my salt is fine everything is fine so after two minutes my dish gonna be done it's just the matter of mixing everything together that's it and as I said rice flakes actually absorbs flavor uh, quicker than rice so it's a quick dish within 10 minutes your dish is done and it's so yummy it's so good so here you go guys this is my uh, fried veg rice flakes It's ready for you and as you noticed how simple it was uh, I added two lemon uh, slices and if you add a little bit of lemon juice when you are eating this dish oh my god it's one of the best best uh, fried rice kind of thing you're gonna ever eat and it's so yummy and as I said you can take it as a lunch uh, you can put it in your lunch box and you can carry it it's so yummy that's it so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends family and and neighbors and i hope you're gonna make this dish and you're gonna enjoy with your family and you're gonna feed your children this dish because it's quite healthy for child children's as well so yeah enjoy bye bye tada take care